hey, what's up? I'm gonna quickly show you how to create a new listing landing page for your Amazon listing here on MySellerPal.com. It's gonna be a real quick process. Um, the I'm gonna take this listing that's not mine, but it's another listing on Amazon here that is this uh, this little toddler leotard. Um, I have two little girls, so this is something that we were <laughs> looking at the other day. My wife loved it. Uh, it's not my product, but I'll just show you how, if I was the seller of this, how I would go about creating a landing page for this, and and then. Um, then you can use it to drive tr Facebook traffic or share on Facebook groups or whatever you would like to do. There's going to be a lot of strategies on external traffic mixed with your Amazon listings. Uh, Pinterest is a big one that I'm really excited about. So here on MySellerPal.com under listing landing pages, I'm going to go here and create a new listing landing page. And from here, it's just a couple clicks to get this started. So I'm going to go over here and grab the the a ASIN from the URL bar that's right over, it's right past the uh, the DP forward slash you'll you can grab that that's a quick hack on how to grab the uh, the ASIN I know that that's out of the video there but um <clears throat> that's how you do that's how you grab an ASIN for your product and then you can go here and do a lookup ASIN and then create a page and just like that the landing page itself is created but we're gonna want to be go back and edit the page and and tweak it to our to our desires here so I'm gonna click on edit page and here you'll sh it shows the the linked product to this listing. Um, there's a landing page URL. This is the shareable URL for your landing page. We'll I'll show in a few minutes on how you can uh, update your your subdomain and if you want to do a custom domain for sharing things, we support that as well. Um, the Amazon URL that we'll link out to. This is the approved URL that was returned to us from Amazon to actually link out to your listing. And here we have your images automatically pulled from your listing here, so you don't have to you don't have to copy these into some landing page off or anything like that. We just we just we just pull these for you. So I'm going to go here and choose the primary image. Um, this is the same as Amazon listing as you would just basically set your primary image, and then these are some secondary images. If I didn't want to include some of these, say I didn't want to include the. Um, this other back one here, I could uncheck the include image here, but I'm going to keep all the images on here. And then in here, I'm going to just set some pricing that I wanted to display on my landing page. So let's just say I have $25. And as I add these additional th prices here, the prices above will be uh, striked out with, with a strike through uh, pricing when on our landing page. So a special offer here is if you want to actually give like a coupon code or anything like that. Um, for this demo, I, I guess I'll just pretend that we're going to do like a big a big giveaway, and I'm going to say use code. Um, let's say life is good. <laughs> I'm feeling good this morning. For to get this for fifteen dollars, uh, let's just say for ten dollars, because on on Facebook and and other places like that, you're going to want to really give a good discount if you're going to drive sales. Um, but we'll have a lot more on strategies and, and those kind of things in, in follow-up uh, videos. So I'm going to put in here the sale price with the code will be $10. All right. I'm going to show prime shipping because this is an FBA item. And then you could your call to action text could be can be updated here. So then you have the listing title. This pull this, they have this long URL here. This is this is what will show over the price and what will be used for sharing. So I'm just going to say um, Ruffle Butts Infant <laughs> This name makes me laugh. <laughs> Ruffle Butts Infant Toddler Girls Ruffled Tutu Leotard. All right, so I'm going to just, uh, I'll keep that as a title. Now, the headline's really important. So in, if you're familiar with landing pages and copywriting and all that good stuff, um, headline is probably one of the most, is one of the most important things, your headline and your subheadline. So I'm going to say uh, here, brand new launch of this of our new leotard brand new launch of our new leotard uh, launch sale ten dollars okay so that's a headline you could tweak that to your to your liking and then a sub headline is just something that will show right underneath of it to give some context this is really more like um, some more details so I'm gonna say um, ultra soft and durable leotard blowout sale for the first 10 customers.
All right, so we do that. And here you can do description, all those kind of things, but I'm not gonna bother filling those kind of things out right now because at this point, um, the, I'm gonna take this in the context of I'm doing a launch and I wanna launch a product and get some initial sales that I can follow up on uh, and see how customers like the, the, the product. And here in the footer, you could actually add like your, your company name and, and those kind of things. It does support HTML and then scripts if you wanna add retracking and those things. So I'm just gonna go here and click update. So that updated my landing page. So if I'm gonna go over here to listing landing pages, you'll see that here's my here's my URL for my landing page. Now, if I see it says it's store.mysellerpal.com. What I wanna do is just make that something good for my uh, for my brand. So I'm gonna go here in my subdomain. You wanna do this up front because it's, once you start to share your pages, you really wanna keep that URL the, the same. So I'm gonna say leotards, I'm gonna say, greatleotards.mysellerpal.com and if you have a custom domain I'm not going to get into that into this video but you can actually do say your brand name is greatleotards.com or something like that you can put this in here and then you can create a, a, a mapping from your 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 domain to your subdomain on mysellerpal and actually have your real domain name so it will be completely masked so now it says my update my domain settings have been updated I'm going to go back to listing landing pages and here we go we have this great leotards url and as we see here there's total views zero 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 we have for unique views and total clicks total views is how many people have seen it in how how many times the listing is being seen in total unique views is um, unique visitors we're doing that by ip address right now but we do have cookie data if we need to go break it down to user session at that level and then um, total clicks, which is how many people cl clicked on your call to action. So now if I go and I open this, it's gonna open up the landing page and here's my new landing page. Boom, just like that, you have a great landing page that you can drive traffic to. For, and this is a page that can be shared over and over again on Pinterest, et cetera. And then you'll, you'll actually then, you can you, then, customers that potentially share this can come back to this and you can update and remove and change basically your verbiage on here to remove the sale price but your listing will live on in in the the internet for as long as uh as long as it's shared out there so then if i go back to here to my metrics i'm going to go see one one page view all right one unique view no clicks yet so then if i click on buy on amazon what we'll do is we'll go back here that brings it to Amazon the Amazon listing and here if I refresh we'll get one click right there and then if I re if I refresh this again if I go back to the uh, listing up oh, I gotta go back because I click clicked on the Amazon link already refresh this again go back here and we'll see total view should go up to two which it does but the unique view since I'm the same person refreshing it over and over again uh, will be one and then total clicks is one so you get the metrics here and then if my promotion was ended, I would go back here and I would edit the page, remove my promo code, all those kind of things, and then re and then just re republish it. So I could just put in here if this was back to my regular price, let's say fifteen bucks, um, or nineteen ninety five for the item regularly. So say this page was shared a bunch on social media, you can go ahead and update that, and I would remove the the headline or just say brand new. Leotard, ultra soft and durable leotard. I would obviously write some better copy than that. And then I click update here. And if I go back over here and refresh my landing page, it's now updated. So if pe traffic comes into that, they can uh, they can then still click on the Amazon link and all that good stuff. So that's it. That's how to create a, a landing page on my seller pal for your amazon listing and if you have any questions please uh hit me up at john at my i'd be happy to help you and uh we have some other posts on launch sequences and and we're going to be doing some follow-up po posts on on social media strategies pinterest is especially interesting if you're in the uh if your product's in the, the female demographic so anyway that's it i hope you guys uh if you I hope you guys uh rock it on amazon thanks a lot